Hey guys, it's Mike from Uyghur Tech here. And the question I get most often about my podcast is how do I live stream to YouTube? And it's actually rather simple. So I just wanted to walk you guys through how to set up a live event on YouTube and then how to stream to YouTube with the free version of Wirecast that YouTube provides for you. So let's go ahead and take a look. So the first thing you are going to do when you want to make a live event is you need to go to your creator studio. And this assumes that you already have a YouTube account. So you create a YouTube account. Now there used to be a restriction that you needed 100 subscribers. I'm not sure if that's still there or not, but you may need 100 subscribers in order to start live streaming. But the way you do it is you go to video manager and under your videos tab, you'll see one for live events. So we're going to click that. And now you can see you have the option to schedule a new event. And that's what we want. So here is where you set up all the information about your live stream. So here's the title. I'll just put testing for this live stream. And for the description, you can put anything. I'll just put testing one, two, three. This is where you'd put in your description, your tags, and all of that information. Now over on the right hand side, the type is actually rather important. So there's two types of live stream for YouTube. There's quick and what quick does is it does a Google hangout. So it gives you a link to launch a Google hangout. And this is by far the quickest and easiest way to do a live stream. You can pop up a Google hangout. You can invite as many people as you want to the hangout. So if you're doing maybe a round table live stream or something like that, a Google hangout is a great option. And within the hangout, it gives you the option to start and stop your broadcast. But today I'm going to focus on showing you guys how to live stream with Wirecast. Wirecast will give you a few more options. You can do a lot more customization with your stream when you use something as Wirecast. And for that option, we're going to choose custom. So now we go to create event. Now your thumbnail, you can upload a thumbnail. I always do. I'm not going to for the, for this demonstration, but on this basic ingestion, you, what you want to do is this is where you select how high of quality video you want to stream. So I always do 720. For me, it's a talking head podcast. It's not a big deal to have 1080p, but if you're doing some sort of stream where detail is important, you could always stream in 1080. Just remember that you need to take into account how fast of upload speed you have wherever you're going to be streaming from. So at my apartment complex, I could do 1080. It would be a little bit of a stretch, but I'm going to just stick with 720. 720. So I go to 720. And when you select your encoder, if you just leave it blank, that is the best for Wirecast. Otherwise, you can do other encoders. You can use any other encoder. I use Wirecast because it's easy and it's built for YouTube, but um, you can use other encoders. And if you choose one of those, it will give you all the settings you need. But right now, this is all we need to do. We click save changes and we are good to go. So now, now we've got the event set up and now let's say it is time to actually get your live stream started. So for me on Tuesday nights, I usually set this up like a day or two ahead of time. And then when it comes to Tuesday night at seven, what I do is I open up this same page and I'm going to go to live control room. It's up here on the top. So you go to live control room. So this is the page you need to have open to start and stop your broadcast when you're using something like Wirecast. So you go to your live control room and right now you can see they're giving me a warning that they're not receiving any data from my encoder, meaning they're not receiving anything from Wirecast. So I'm going to leave that up here in kind of this corner. And I'm going to pop up Wirecast. Now this Wirecast might look a little bit different. I do have the pro version of Wirecast, but the free version is about the same. So when you are in Wirecast, what you're going to do is you're going to go up to output, which is in the top, and you're going to go to output settings. And if you're doing this for the first time, you're going to need to authenticate your YouTube account. So you're just going to sign in with whatever YouTube account you are using. And as you saw for me, the nice thing about Wirecast, the reason I used Wirecast because it makes it so easy is that as soon as it authenticated and logged in, it pulled in the event. So see, we made the testing event. And so it's all ready to go. So it pulled in that event. If it doesn't, you can just click on your event and choose which one you're doing. Maybe you have multiple live streams set up. If you set a few up in advance, you choose the one you want to do. And right here in the encoding, it automatically detects what you told YouTube. So I told YouTube 720p, which is what it picked up. So I click OK. So now I'm not going to stream anything from my camera, but if I were to go to stream. So right now, if I click stream, it's going to make the connection to YouTube. 
and you will start to see over in this window right here in our live control rooms in a little bit, see now it's switched. Now it says it's, restream, it's receiving data from our encoder, which is good. So right now you are not live streaming. I think some people think when they use Wirecast, as soon as they click stream that they are live streaming. All this is doing is just sending data to our encoder. And since we're on a blank shot, you guys can see it's just black. It's just sending black. But actually what we need to do to actually go live is to tell YouTube, hey, start this event. So in order to do that, we're going to go to preview and click OK. And this is going to take a little bit. It's going to prepare our live stream to go. So now we are just waiting on YouTube. OK, so once you get to this point where there's a box that says start streaming, once you click this, you will be live. You will be live to your YouTube page and you can go ahead and start streaming. I'm not going to do it um, for the demonstration purposes, but I would click start streaming and then we're going to go back to Wirecast and we're going to start putting stuff into the live feed. So if I wanted to put up my lower third and I would have a video camera on behind that, but anything over in this right hand side, that is what is going live to YouTube. So if I would click start streaming, it would there would be a little counter showing me how long I've been streaming. And then when you want to stop the broadcast on YouTube, the important part is some people think if you just click the stream button on Wirecast, that'll stop it. That's not true. So you need to leave this window up at all times when you're doing your live stream. And then there'll be another option that just says stop streaming, stop broadcast. And you click that and you are all good to go. And the nice thing about streaming live to YouTube is that YouTube will now create a video from your live stream and put it into your video feed. So you then have a recording on YouTube of whatever you did during your live event. So live streaming on YouTube is as easy as that and it can actually be even easier if you guys are doing the custom Google Hangouts option or the quick option like you saw when we were setting up the event. Now, I didn't want to get into a Wirecast tutorial with this video, but if you guys have any other questions on Wirecast or maybe the Google Hangouts option or anything else revolving live streaming with YouTube, definitely send me an email, mike at uyghurtech.com or you can always tweet me at Uyghur Tech. I would be happy to answer your guys' questions and help you guys out. I love live streaming. I think it's a lot of fun, and I think you guys will too. That's it for this tutorial, but until I see you guys next time, tech on.